this is Yzaks Toll here. I'm the author of the XCOM 2 mod Spectrum. Spectrum is a gameplay overhaul mod that has made significant changes to the game, granting a lot more options for the player to make, um, hopefully making it more interested for repeated playthroughs. Uh, Spectrum Green has been in development for some time now, which incidentally is the largest, most extensive update yet. That's why I'm making these uh, mid-development videos right now. Uh, this video is just to showcase the Cave Crasher mission and a little bit of the strategy afterwards. So we're just going to start a new campaign on Commander Difficulty. We're heading into the city center to strike a big target. As Gate Crasher seems to be the uh, least exciting mission anyone's ever been on. I've made uh, significant changes, mixing up the context. spawn points, and I was adding five different main bosses um, who should provide a significant challenge um, as a kind of gameplay gate to see if you're actually prepared for the main game. on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. The squad is concealed. As you might have noticed, the uh, health and armor of the rookies are slightly different. The uh, slight bonus of health and armor for each Kevlar piece, and uh, both the XCOM and the Advent both wear Kevlar at the beginning, granting them one extra health, one extra armor. And the bonuses are replaced if you go light or heavy or go up to plated armor later on. The uh, conventional weapons the XCOM use are slightly armor piercing, so the XCOM don't have to worry about the extra armor that's prevalent across the game at the very beginning, but the advent weapons uh, aren't armor piercing. They actually suffer significantly when enemies have armor. And once your armor has been removed by grenades or plasma weapons, um, Advent weapons will absolutely destroy you. So let's uh, let's try and play some Gate Crasher. Moving out. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Okay, this is the uh, new look. Oops, for Advent, as you may. Uh, Notice the slight red colour on the uh, helmet. I'm trying to match it to the old uh, vanilla captain outfit. Now all uh, Advent have this kind of hue, and their armour is actually dependent on their armour, really, instead of their class. So all commanders, troopers, captains wear the same Kevlar armour. If they've got Kevlar on, then they go up to the captain model. If they now got plated, and then the shield bearer signifies an armor powered armor. Um, this guy is a trooper, as you can see, he's got the same stats as a rookie, and he's wielding a designated marksman rifle. Should make things interesting. Now let's get into a position to try to ambush them. On the move. Moving out. Already there. Eyes on the prize. And here's the second part. Yes, the uh, white cape signifies their officers. A black cape will signify they're actually a commander, which will allow give them significant more rank and abilities. Okay. Heading to that location. Affirmative. Moving out. Roger, I've got my eyes on. 
eyes on the prize. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Hopefully I'll crit the uh, Advent Sergeant and uh, he won't actually return fire with his pistol. Also, there's the uh, loot bonuses, which is pretty bomb right. There's weapon fragments and advent gear, which can be used to progress uh, in the weapons technologies, make upgrades, and uh, any give more uh, options available for crafting. Also, each one has the ability to drop the weapon they're using. So if you kill a sniper, there's a chance he drops a sniper. And it'll always be the same technology level of the uh, item he's using. This is these ones will drop conventional tier um, advent magnetic weapons, which don't pay as a hammer. Hostiles pacified! Target location. Yeah, I didn't get it. On the move. Affirmative, covering now. Orders confirmed, moving out. Let's go. Negative damage. Yeah, the AI I've uh, made makes slight tweaks to the uh, base chances. Right, so, um, when there's less of them, the more likely to be defensive and fall back. Overwatch. If there's more of them, they tend to be aggressive, moving forward and uh, charging forward. Also helps with the weapon they're using, DMRs and assault rifles, to let them fire from a long distance. So they tend to stay at the edge of vision. Heading there now. Yeah, it's a shame the uh, loot expired, but uh, the without Grammy's loot, those uh, drop boxes aren't as strong as the actual loot that gets dropped. Understood. Moving out. Menace one five. You're near the target position. Affirmative. Covering now. Back to. Uh, Allow integration with Grammy's loot mod. I have no longer have stopped affecting the uh, those loot drops at all, and it's all based on what they drop as corpses. Moving 
into position. Closing on target position now. It's killing time. It's killing time. Good copy. Moving on Back target. In. Orders confirmed. Ready to engage. Hey. Now we're moving on to the objective where the boss usually resides. I've got eyes on an and it is the Nox Sniper. Its abilities uh, generally the fact it's a sniper, shadow step, and plasma pistol with lightning hands and return fire, I believe. Oh, and the fact he's got a long side range and you can shoot halfway across the map. Orders confirmed, moving out. Affirmative, moving out. Moving out. Running. Incoming fire! That's uh, lightning guns that we just used. Designated coordinates. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Commander, we're taking heavy losses. We may have to adjust our approach. Moving to designated position. on target location. Hostile neutralized. Area is secure. There we go, he's been killed. Um, he may be sliding one out of the nine ten, but uh we have those charges on the double. Understood, moving out. Minus one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. If you noticed, it did actually drop the uh, plasma pistol. So even though we've got a uh, three deaths on this mission, it's not. Too bad. 
Seeing as we now have uh, a lot of equipment to use in the fight against that. I can't help but feel somewhat responsible. If only there was more we could do for our troops. Okay, Spectrum also uh, tries a classless system where when you uh, get promoted first you can then access secondary weapons and after that you can then pick one of uh, six or seven abilities which will also enable a stat bonus. So you should go Grenadier, get health, Sprinter, extra mobility, aim, aim, return fire will get some crit and Phantom will help you uh, stay s more stealthy. Their detection radius will be less. And here we receive, uh, this one's meant to be Nox equipment. I just haven't named it in the localization files yet. Data pad, fragments, corpses, plasma pistol. Commander to the research labs. I do find that area of Just going to rush through uh, this modular tech to showcase uh, While we prepare for new operations and continue was, our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans on the surrounding water. area. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. There we go, with the plasma pistol. The alien weapons technology becomes instant. All we need is a few more weapons fragments and we can instantly now access plasma weaponry to uh, shred and uh, destroy the advent. If we went against uh, one of the other bosses we probably would instant laser weaponry, magnetic weaponry, and uh, there's one with plated armor as well. Oh and there's also sectoid for Psy. Psionics early access. I had a slight bug with the uh, magic weapons research. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Commander to engineering. You'd be surprised how big of a difference There's also a few extra uh, weapons and armor. Supplies, I can well, the items are meant to be in uh, built individually, so you'll see a lot of uh, like individual builds, like these uh, different gremlins. There's no specialist class, so these are the gremlins that grant uh, the equipment and the abilities. So even if you're running for rookies, you can still have uh, grapples, hollow points, medkits, and gremlins running around. I saw Tygen muttering to himself in one of the corridors. I'm not sure he even noticed me. Bradford trusts him, but I'm for keeping. So my this is the uh, loadout. Nothing's really changed for Spectrum Yellow, but uh, you can then wear a more heavy armor. should be granting armor. I think it's not showing the armor in the... Uh, in the UI. I'll have to fix that. And you can also change your weapon out for uh, maybe a sniper rifle and uh, equip the angel or medic plasma pistol I just got. So now we're pretty much rocking the uh, weapons that the sniper was using. Just probably don't have as much uh, aim that he was uh, provided. Commander? So that's a showcase of the very start of the uh, game. Um, it's a little more brutal than I imagined. I'll probably tweak the uh, sniper 
a little bit. But uh, I've got to hand it to the with being able to one-shot it, possibly, one I think it's uh, quite a good they had the drop on us for sure. balance on danger and ward at the moment, but I'll have a look at it, with especially in testing. Between the propaganda well, the I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video, and uh, I'll post some more videos the more I progress through the spectrum. Thank you for watching. This is uh, Zaxdol. I'll see you next time.